Hi guys, welcome back to Dean and Family and today we are going to make something special. The special is we are making mutton and chickpeas. We got mutton here, we got chickpeas, we got chopped onion, ginger, garlic spice, tomato, bay leaves, green chili. Let's start. Okay, let's start. So guys, it's raining again. It's supposed to be 100% rain today. Yeah. And the kids are at school and they didn't want to go to school. Because when it's cold, they want to stay at home. But unfortunately. I have to be in school because this is the last term. Yeah. So now we're putting the oil. This is two onion guys. We got two onion here. And let's get golden brown. You like to make the onion brown, eh? Yeah. Okay. The onion must be brown, okay? <laughs> Close. Guys, look at this rain. Okay, guys, our onion is golden brown now. Now, our tomato, and green chili, bay leaf. Now, we're going to put our spice, ginger, garlic. Now we're gonna put our meat. So how long does meat have to cook now? Twenty minutes? Thirty yes. minutes? Um, until lovely. You know, you take your time. Soft. Yeah. It smells so good. We're not gonna put water. Okay, what we are we doing now? We got chickpeas here and we got some chickpeas here. We are going to put in a grinder. This is one can of chickpeas guys. Yes. Chickpeas aka chana. This is we put just putting for to make more gravy and the gravy will be flavor with the chickpeas. And it will come out thick, ne? Yeah. So and yeah, we got how many cans of chickpeas? Three. three depends how much you're making. If you're making three cans. And depends if you like it also. Yeah. You could put extra. So yeah, we got three cans of chickpeas and yeah, we got one can of chickpea with like quarter of this water. Guys, here I'm gonna show you when you'll have a leftover <coughs> pilau or biryani, there's no meat inside. Show you what to do. Are you cracking two eggs? Yes. Eggs are expensive, you must just crack two only or one. Don't crack so much. But two is too much. 80. Huh? 18 eggs, much. 100 rand. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna put some ghee here. This is pure ghee. Now we're gonna put our eggs here. Snap, crackle, and pop. Now we're gonna put here our flour. Or biryani, whatever you got. Let's go over for last night. Yeah. Mm. He loves to eat like this, guys. Yeah. And this morning there was no egg for you, so. 
she was a bit upset, so he dad went to get eggs and the eggs are how much? Hundred and for eighteen. And two seventy five for thirty. Sixty. Forty eight. Wow. This is like a fried rice now without the other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I think the best way to make you just add your vegetable here. You yeah. can add your prawns, you can add your chicken, meat, what you want. It's your lunch. This is a, not Chinese fried rice, it's a Pakistani fried rice. <laughs> it's a Palau fried rice. Mm. Okay, let's check our mushroom. Allah, it's good. I hope it's not spicy. Obisha. Next, we're gonna put our paste here. Shana paste. Chickpeas and mutton curry. So I'm sure you guys know everybody uses chicken eh, for, ch for chana and chicken curry. So this is the first time we're using mutton. Oh guys, it looks so good. I think I'm going to add some now. <laughs> Before the kids come from school. Now we're going to make South African roti. <laughs> make Pakistani roti. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yummy guys, I wish you guys can try this. So now you're gonna let it to simmer and yeah. then we're gonna put dania and it is ready to eat. Now we're gonna put some dania. Okay guys, we decide to make South African roti. South African roti, need a cake flour, salt, we're going to put hot water. I'm going to put oil. Okay guys, our dough is ready for roti. Let's start. I don't like to use too much dough. Yeah, it's okay. Fix it. <laughs> There we go. Our roti is ready. First one. This roti and chana and mutton Ooh. will be something else. And some vinegar chili is for you. you, <laughs> you, you. Extra. Yes, you can be okay. Okay, guys, our last four roti. I'm done with the rolling. Now, what we have to do with the tawa story. <laughs> Abhi, used to when you six, how many roti you'll make? Six, how many roti you used to you'll make? We, when we were younger, my granny, we used to make like uh, 12 comma 5. 12 comma 5? Yes, because you see that time when you make roti, you, you get excited, you know. Hey, we're having uh. roti today. Uh. Then we'll make a big, we'll make a lot. So my, my mother used to knead the dough. Uh. And my granny used to sit there and watch us. She inspect her for us. We were doing the right thing and all that. Uh. And then... If it's not burnt nice, she'll tell you straight. Hey, it's not burnt nice. Burn it nicely, she tell you. Okay. And then I, yes, used, now I you, used to do this. You make sure. This was my job. 
No, but it take time and it was tiring, but hey, you know what? After all the roti was done, my granny was sherry to everyone. Like we all stay like together in like a big, like everybody got their own own houses. And then she, as soon as she make the roti in one big dish, then she'll separate each house, she'll give some new food. That was a best story for when she was and you all, young, you all used to make small. Roti. How many you all make? To be honest with you, I didn't make. Like your mother, how many rotis do you used to make? No, for us, you see, in the morning we eat prata. Yeah. Then for lunchtime, roti again, dry roti. Mm -hmm. But sapas, dry is, and, but my father always eats roti. Yeah, then like you make like yeah, roti, yeah. Roti yeah. But I learned to make roti when I come to South Africa. Okay. In Pakistan, I don't know how to make roti. Your first roti, how did you make it? The hard one. <laughs> so guys, the tasters are back from school. And they are about to taste the like mutton chilebi. and chilebi. chickpeas. Water. Tasting, so, tasting. Pakistani people call this uh, chana. Chole. And we call it chickpeas. Yeah, the other word is chole. Hey, yo. Manu, if you're watching, chole. <laughs> How did it taste? <laughs> what you say, Nisha? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. And you, Dean? Only time we'll know if. Dean. If you. Guys. <laughs> So that's our roti, guys. So, guys, what happened was Dean's daddy mixed this white cake flour and what? What atta is that? Is that you know from Pakistan, India, chakki atta? Yes. Yeah, so that I is a pure know. cake flour. It's a wheat flour. So I actually didn't know that he mixed the two together. That's why the roti came out extra brown. This one's more healthy. Okay, guys, it's more healthy. Yeah. Are you all enjoying it? Yes. What do you say, Isha? Mm, it's nice. I can say it's very nice, Isha cook. <laughs> I don't know if she could cook this good, but... Oh. Ah! Isha, you've tasted my food. Guys, look at that gravy. Look at that gravy. Mm. Mm. So guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, turn on notifications, and you can also join me for some other video. And don't forget, we're going to make a big burger. We get in the house even. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay, guys. Bye. I'm your husband.